What's up, YouTube? Just came to play boxing. Just came to talk a little boxing with y'all. So news is, Ryan Garcia just beat Luke Campbell in round seven. He was dropped in the second round. Got his chin tested, which everybody was looking forward to to see if he had that grit and that real dog in him. He got up. He got up. He didn't even take the whole eight count, ten count. I mean, eight count. So. Yeah, that proved it. Then he stops Luke Campbell with a body shot in the seventh round, which Luke Campbell never been stopped. And Luke Campbell faced the likes of Vasily Lomachenko and Jorge Linares, in which neither one of them stopped him. So that was a good look for Ryan Garcia stopping Luke. But when you talking about Javante Tank Davis, who just stopped... Leo Santa Cruz, which Leo Santa Cruz, I feel, would be Ryan Garcia, just my opinion. But I just feel like Javante Tank Davis, he's a whole other animal. I feel like Ryan should stay away from Tank for a while. Devin Haney is Ryan's mandatory at the moment, so I think he should go and go for that, um, that Devin Haney fight. I still think Devin outboxes Ryan. And I think you need to get Devin quick before you get that power because Devin's still young. And once Devin get his man strength in, I think even Devin might stop um, Ryan. And I think you need to stay away from Teofimo Teo Lopez. And who else should he stay? Shakur Stevenson, for sure. He should stay away from Shakur. But that's enough of Ryan. Um, let me see. Deontay Wilder. And Fury is still going through litigations and arbitrations and all that right now. So we don't know when we might see that fight, but keep your eyes out for that fight. Other than that, Adrian Burner, he coming back in February. I think it might be Ivan Red Catch. I'm not sure, but people saying Ivan Red Catch, so just keep posted on that one. Mm. What else we got? What else we got? I'm just going off the top of the head, so excuse me. I'm just thinking. They looking to set up that Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence fight, which I don't believe Bob Arum is in the business of making money with Al Heyman on that level right now. I know they do the smaller fights together, but I don't think I don't even really think it's Bob Arum and Al Heyman. I think it's the networks. I don't think Showtime and um, ESPN gonna merge to make that fight happen i just don't see it happening because if it was they would have did it terrence getting older he's 34 35 and errol just got out that car wreck so anytime he, he not gonna be in the game no longer than three four more years so and he said he's going up to 154 at the two or three more fights so if they're gonna get that fight they need to get that fight going like immediately like immediately what else we got Canelo, he fighting his bar partner. <laughs> um, that's setting up the Billy Joe Billy Joe Saunders fight in um, I think May or September. No, he gonna fight um, um, Cinco de Mayo in May, and then he gonna fight for um, I forget, no disrespect on the wood Mexican day that is in September, but they gonna fight in September Mexican day. Um, Mexican Pride, I don't know what to call it. Um, but I know he beats Billy Joe. I want to see him in Charlo. They need to stop ducking the Charlos. Maul said he's going to move up to 160. Maul chased him up to 154, and Canelo left, and now he chased him to 168. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like he got to go through loops and hurdles just to get a fight that he's been calling for and was mandatory for for years and beat everybody else out of the position for the fight, but they get the fight. Come on, man. If you scatter the boy, say you scatter the boy, man. Give him his respect. All these, um, what's these franchise belts and fake belts, trophies they're giving away, man. They're messing up the sport of boxing. Boxing is not at its purest form right now. All these PEDs and all this stuff that they allow in computer oil and all this other stuff that they're letting people just get away with and higher levels on that you can take and all this, like, it's not really right. You sanction them bodies. It's got a belt for every fight, any fight. You fight in the backyard, it's a belt for the fight. You fight in the kitchen, it's a belt. You know, it's like, it's getting silly, man. 
they need to do something about this. Tighten up, tighten up, tighten up. Other than that, it should be exciting 2021. So I know we're going to get our um, our whole list of fights or whatever that's coming up for this year. I'm sure um, they'll be dropping that real soon. So look forward for that. Other than that, mm, just can't play boxing and look out for another video. I'm going to be putting up like two or three videos, maybe four or five videos a day, short videos. Just to give you a little content and um, let you know what the channel is like. So, like and subscribe, share the content, and thank you. Can't play box. Remember that.